What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to block the automatic updates on iOS 10.3.2 and even 10.3.1 and uh, lower using a new profile. Since the, um, the last one that I have shown you a month ago or two months ago in here is no longer available. As you can see I made a video on how to disable automatic updates and update notifications but unfortunately if you go ahead here in the description the no OTA profile that you had to download is no longer available, it does bring you the 404 error. But fear not, since I found the profile elsewhere. Apparently the um, the previous profile or the previous account containing the, uh, the previous um, no OTA profile had been closed, but this one works in here. So I'm going to link it in the description down below. You just need to follow this link in Safari, as I do right now here in Safari and uh, once you open it you click open binary file and you're going to install the following profile. It's pretty simple to understand how this works, you need to, cl to click install, put your passcode. Uh, it actually works by installing the tvOS or Apple TV profile for the betas, but since the iPhone is not an Apple TV, it's going to search for incorrect IPSW file and therefore it's going to block updates or update notifications forever. And you're not going to be nagged by, you know, that you have an update screen or update now or update tomorrow or during the night and so on. So we're going to press install again. It's definitely safe, it's not going to break anything and it's going to keep you of course on the uh, the lowest version possible without you know fearing of the fact that you're going to update by mistake or the phone is going to update automatically since if you do that you might as well lose the chance to jailbreak. Now it's going to ask you for a restart, do the restart right now. So I'm going to do it as well and be right back. Alright, so my phone has restarted and uh, before I show you what happens after you install the profile, let me tell you why would you do this in the first place. So I'm currently on iOS 10.1.1 and I'm jailbroken, but it can be on iOS 10.2 and be jailbroken or iOS 9.3.4, 9.3.3 and so on. And of course in order to stay jailbroken you need to stay on that specific version. Uh, it's, it's actually known the fact that iOS devices do download the updates in the background and if you plug the device uh, to a charger and leave it overnight, it might as well update by itself without asking for permission. And of course, in that case, you lose the jailbreak. In order to mitigate that problem, you can install this profile and be safe. Now, if you're not jailbroken but you're waiting for a jailbreak, the best thing that you can do is to actually not update further, to stay on the lowest firmware possible, which is not possible if your device keeps on updating by itself. So in order to, you know, get rid of that um, boring notifications and that nag screens about the updates, you install this profile. If I go here to general, as I said, this device is running iOS 10.1.1 and is jailbroken. If I go if I go here to software update, it says iOS 10.1.1, your software is up to date. Well, it's not, since iOS 10.1.1 hasn't been signed in over six months now. And uh, iOS 10.3.2 uh, is actually the, uh, the newest version with iOS 10.3.3 in beta, so definitely not 10.1.1. But it does work and I no longer get any updates and I no longer get any nag screens about any update. And uh, if you scroll in here and go to profiles and device management, you're going to find the tvOS 10 beta software profile. If you click on it, you can see it in action. Now, if you, if you want to make your iPhone or iPad or iPod to actually start updating again and receiving updates again, you simply need to click delete, put your passcode, restart the phone or the, um, the iDevice, and you're going to get updates yet again. But as long as you have this profile in here, you're not going to see that anymore. This is pretty neat if you ask me. So this is actually it guys. Uh, if you want to stay updated, do not forget to subscribe, activate uh, the notifications by pressing on that little bell on my channel and also tell me in the comment section down below if you hate it when you get that notifications about the, um, the updates. So yeah, do not forget to like this video if I find it useful. If you don't, hit the dislike button and peace out.